Greetings to all. I welcome all viewers, students, parents and teachers to the EVS session. In last session, we discussed the super abilities of our animal friends and we will continue the same today. We all love animals around us and our animal friends are very important to us. We will start from where we left in the last session. I hope that you have completed the activities discussed in the previous session. I will like you all curious learners to be ready with a paper and a pencil to write down names of senses, animals or anything that you may find interesting. At the end of the session, your noted down points will be very valuable as we will create a concept map for super senses in animal world. So, let us start with the second session on the theme family and friends with sub theme of animals are friends. Topic for discussion is super senses in animal world. The topic is about super abilities of animals which help them survive. We aim to learn about super senses of smell, sight, hearing, taste and touch. We have already discussed about the super senses of smell and sight in our last session. Today we will go ahead and learn about super senses of hearing, touch, sleep cycle of animals and much more. But before we go ahead and learn something new, first let us revise things we have learned in our last session. Let us have a quick recap of major concepts learned related to the last session on super senses. First, let us revise the five senses that we have learned. The sense of smell, the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of taste and the sense of touch. Nose for smelling. Eyes for sight, ears for hearing, tongue for tasting and skin for touching. We have two activities for quick recap. Let us start with the first. This is your first activity where we will revise about the super senses of hearing and sight in our animal friends. Give examples of animals with the super sense of smell and super sense of sight. I will give you some time to think about animals for each category. Now you may recall some examples for each. I hope you have named some animals by now. Let me give you some examples here too. Ants, dogs and mosquitoes have the super sense of smell which helps them find food, find direction and protect self from danger. Examples for super senses of sight are these birds of prey, eagle and kite. They have four times better vision than humans. Owls have ability to see in the dark. Now let us move on to our next activity. In this activity, you have to match the name of the animal with the super sense they have. Remember that an animal may have more than one super ability. But here match the most well suited pairs. On the left, you can see the column with names of the animals. And on the right, we have the super abilities they have. Are you able to match the name of the animal with its super sense? Which is most prominent in it? Animals given here are eagle, ants, dogs and mosquitoes. Now select correct fact related to each one of these animals. I hope you are ready with your answers. Check them with the given correct responses. For the first, eagle, the correct match is that it sees 4 to 6 times 
as far as human scan as eagles have the super sense of sight. I hope you got that answer right. For the second animal ants, the correct match is that they communicate using special chemical pheromones. This is how they use their super sense of smell to communicate. For the third animal dogs, the correct match is that they urinate to mark its territory for which they use the sense of smell and use their urine as the scent. For the last option mosquitoes, the correct answer is that they find you by body odor and heat which they are able to do using the super sense of smell. Well done students, it's time we move on to the next super sense, the super sense of hearing. When I say act out the action of hearing. Most of us place our hand around our ears like this and this is how we enact hearing. So, according to us the organ associated with hearing is the organ associated with hearing is ears. But students you should know that this body part is known as pinna and the organ of hearing is inside beyond the tiny hole so that it is well protected. That is why you are told not to put anything sharp inside your ears. Now look at the given pictures of some animals. Are you able to identify these animals? I hope you are able to name them all. Yes, these are lizard, parrot and snake. Now can you tell that have you seen their ears? Do they have ears or not? We do not see their ears. Do these animals have sense of hearing or not? I think they do. When you clap loudly, you make a lizard move away from the sound. And parrots can definitely hear as they hear us talking and can mimic our talking. If you focus on the pinna, you may say, that we do not see the external ears. But these animals do have tiny holes that help in hearing. So yes, they have ears. In place of external ears, they only have tiny holes. They do not have external ears like that of mammals like elephant, dog, cat or us humans have. In animal world, only mammals have external ears. So, now we know that not all animals have visible ears. Animals like birds, reptiles do have ears but do not have external ears. Mammals like elephant, giraffe, deer, cat and fox have external ears. Now, we will do activities to understand this topic better. You already have your paper and pen ready. So, write names of 10 animals whose ears can be seen. I am sure you all will be able to do this on your own. Write the names of some animals whose ears are bigger than our ears. Compare size of ears of some animals with your own. Animals like rat and squirrel have ears smaller than ours. Animals like deer, cow, dog and elephant have ears bigger than ours. Write more names of such animals. Looking at these animals, do you find any relation between the size of animals ear and their hearing? Sound can be felt as vibrations. Have you ever observed that when an aeroplane flies closer to land, its loud sound can cause vibration of window panes. Yes, the window panes start vibrating due to the vibrations created by the sound. That was the case of loud sound. What about faint sound? If you want to catch some faint sound from across the wall, what do you do? Have you ever tried listening by putting hands around your ears? Try this and you will find it easier to catch faint sounds. This is because 
our palms have increased the surface area and funnel the sound waves towards our internal ears. It is almost like a dish antenna on roof that collects TV signals. So, if we talk about relation between the size of ears, the bigger size of external ears does help in increased sense of hearing. But in the animal world, exceptions are always there. Sense of hearing comes in different ways in some animals. We will discuss the example of snakes who have no visible ears. To understand how snakes hear, let us do this activity. Sit near a desk, tap the desk once with your hand. Listen carefully. Now put your ear on the desk and as shown in the picture, tap on the desk once again with your hand. Listen again. Was there any difference in the sound of the tap? You may find the sound to be enhanced and better when ears were on the table. This is because the vibrations of sound are more readily heard on solid surfaces. Snakes hear in the same way. Snakes have no external ears, but they can catch the vibrations on the ground. So here, the super sense of hearing is related to catching sound vibrations. Also, snakes can detect infrared or thermal radiation of its prey and trace it. This means that snakes can catch the body heat of other animals from a distance even in the dark. This also helps them find their way through the dark. Now let us put our hands together for the animals with best sense of hearing. Here are the winners. But wait, there is a bat and a dolphin in the list too. A bat has no big ears, meaning the size of its ears is not too big for the size of its body. A dolphin is here too. A dolphin has no external ears to help catch the sound better. And it is still here. How? Aren't you surprised to see bat and dolphin here? How do they have super sense of hearing? Let us find out. Bats are mammals that can fly. You may ask who are mammals? Mammals are animals that give birth to young ones, have body hair and external ears. So, bat is not a bird but a mammal. They have external ears but their super sense of hearing is dependent on catching echo of the high pitch sound that they produce. This is echolocation. Echolocation is seen with the help of sound. Sounds impossible. How can someone see with sound? Here, seeing is a way of navigating in one's surroundings and nature has made it possible for bats to use their hearing as a means of navigation. There are lots of ways in which animals perceive their surroundings. Many of these ways are beyond human range of hearing, seeing or smelling. The screeching sound that the bat produces is beyond human audible range. So, we cannot hear it. So, when bats produce this high pitched sound that humans can't hear, the sound waves fall on an object or its prey and these waves are reflected back as an echo. Echo is the sound that comes after bouncing off some surface as the sound of a clap in a big empty room. This echo is captured by bats. This is called echolocation and it helps bats find food and their way. It is same as a sonar used by underwater submarines. Hearing is also associated with communication with our fellow beings. In case of dolphins, this communication is quite unique. First of all, let us be clear that dolphins are not fishes. Dolphins give birth to young ones, so they are mammals and not fishes. 
like bats have adapted to flying, dolphins have adopted to swim and live in water. Dolphins are very social and have highly developed brains. They are next to only humans in intelligence. Dolphins have a language of their own and can produce some ultrasounds which we humans are unable to hear. Dolphins echolocation is very advanced. This is how dolphins do echolocation. Dolphins produce click sounds. The sound is produced by nasal area and dispersed through the forehead area. Sound echoes are captured by the lower jawbone of dolphin and not the ear holes. Dolphins inner ears pass the signal from the jawbone to the brain. So ears are not the main organs here, still dolphins have best hearing that they use not only for communicating but also for finding food and for navigation. This technique is developed by humans to navigate underwater using submarines, but still dolphins can do it better. So aren't dolphins amazing? Now let us explore how some animals that use sounds for signaling danger. Sounds help us communicate. As in our world, we need sound in form of our language to communicate feelings and messages. Animals too use different sounds to convey different messages. Animals like langur make special warning calls to warn about leopard or tiger. Birds also give alarm calls to warn about the danger. Some birds even have different sounds for different kinds of dangers. For example, there is a different warning call if the enemy is coming from the sky or if the enemy is on the ground. Natural calamities like earthquakes, tsunamis are caused by changes in earth's layer that lie deep down. The vibrations of these changes can be sensed by some animals before they actually impact. Like snakes who live underground can feel the vibrations before the earthquake and leave their holes. Due to the enhanced senses, animals start behaving in a different way. When an earthquake or storm is about to come, people who live in forests can observe such behavior of animals and come to know of the danger. Dogs, snakes, birds and fishes are able to sense such natural calamities and thus use super senses to save self from dangers. While some animals are very alert, some are very relaxed too. Some animals go into a long deep sleep in certain seasons. Then they are not seen for many months. Have you noticed that during the cold season you cannot see any lizards in the house? Where do you think they go? They undergo a deep and long winter sleep called hibernation. Polar bears too undergo hibernation in hard winters. For this they eat lots of food and stack up fat in their body to provide heat and energy during hibernation. This long winter sleep protects animals from bitter cold when no food is available. Talking about long sleeping habits, here is a special animal, sloth. Sloths are found in the parts of Central America and South America. They have low energy diet and a slow digestion, so they move very slowly to conserve energy. It sleeps for 17 hours a day, eats leaves of the same tree on which it lives. In its lifespan of 40 years, it moves around on only 8 trees. Wow, sloths getting a 17 hour a day sleep, amazing. Can we show these 70 hours on a normal clock? which has dials from 1 to 12 only. In a normal clock, each segment stands for 1 hour. So, 
the maximum hours it can show is 12 only. So, how to show 18 hours on the face of the clock? If we presume that each segment stands for 2 hours, then 12 segments will show 12 times 2 that is 24 hours. So, we can convert the 12 hour clock into a 24 hour clock by presuming the time between two dials as 2 hours. Here we can see that 18 hours sleep cycle will make 3 quarters of this clock. What about sleep cycle of other animals? Look at this model of a clock where we have shown 24 hours. This upper section can slide. It can slide over the clock to give a clear idea of the sleeping hours of any given animal. Now, we know that each segment here shows 2 hours. So, if I have to show 2 hours, I will show only one section. A cow sleeps for 4 hours. One segment gives 2 hours. So, 2 segments will be needed to show 4 hours. That means 2 segments like this. A python sleeps for 18 hours. So, how many segments I need to show to denote python sleeps hours? Yes, if each segment denotes 2, I will need 9. 9 segments will give us 18. Simple multiplication. This is how 18 hour sleeping cycle will look. You may also notice that it is also making 3 quarters of a circle. This means python sleeps for 3 fourths of a day. You can use this clock to show sleeping time of different animals and also your own. So, here we see that how the sleeping hours of different animals look on a 24 hour clock. Sleep patterns and duration of different animals depend on their feeding habit. That is why there is so much variation in it. Now, let us talk about the super sense of touch. Spiders are very sensitive to touch. They have massive number of hair which can detect vibration created by an object or another animal. This helps them catch their prey just by sitting on the web they weave. Coming on to the sense of taste. In humans, the tongue has around 10,000 taste buds. A catfish has 17 times more taste receptors all over its body. These taste receptors help catfish to find food. They are nicknamed swimming tongues because their whole body is able to sense presence of food. Many animals have an excellent sense to know the direction by perceiving earth's magnetic field or by help of sun's position. Bees and migratory birds can navigate by using their natural compass which tells them the correct direction where they need to go. Migratory birds travel thousands of kilometers every winter to reach places across continents by using this sense of direction. Bees do a special waggle dance to point out the direction of flowers with nectar. This dance is decoded on the basis of direction of sun and the angle and distance of beehive from the flowers. So children, we have come to know about such amazing facts about so many animal friends of ours. Isn't the animal world wonderful? Each animal is unique and adapted to its environment with the help of its senses. Some animals are really remarkable as they have many super senses working for them. One such majestic animal is tiger, the national animal of India. It is strong and has such qualities that makes it a ferocious animal at the top of the food chain. Here are some facts about super abilities of tiger which makes it so special. Tiger's sense of hearing is very sharp. It can move its ear in different directions to catch sounds. Tiger's vision is six times better than humans. Tigers are territorial. They mark their territory by urinating. 
In last session, we discussed how dogs urinate on poles, vehicles and trees to mark their and territory. Tigers do the same in the jungle. Tigers whiskers can sense slightest movement of vibration in the air. You must have observed a cat's whiskers. Tiger has whiskers too and help them stay alert. Tiger's roar can be heard up to 3 kilometers. Wow, that is really loud. Wow, with such qualities they are sure to rule the jungle. But the sad truth is that they are endangered and need protection. Otherwise, they will become extinct. That means they will, there will be no tigers left on earth. Now, it's time for your children to do some activities related to the topics that we have learnt. As a map activity on the political map of India, label the states where tigers are found in India. Present your sleeping cycle on a pie chart as shown earlier in the session. You will represent the number of hours you sleep on a 24 hour clock that will look like a pie chart. So students, I hope you have understood the concepts of this session well. Let us attempt a quiz. First question is, what do bats and dolphins use to help them locate prey and find their way? Options are eyes, sound echo, nose or skin? Yes, the correct answer is option B, sound echo. Bats and dolphins use echolocation where they produce sound and capture the echo. Second question is, which of these animals undergoes hibernation that is a long winter sleep? Polar bear, ants, lizard or both A and B? The correct answer is option D, both A and B. Both polar bear and lizard undergo hibernation. Wow! This session has been a roller coaster ride. We have discussed about special qualities of so many animals and discovered so many amazing facts about them. I asked you to be ready with paper and pen. It's time we developed a concept map by presenting whatever we have already learned and draw arrows to make connections between facts, concepts and examples. You may start with the name of senses and then add examples of animals related to each sense. You will see that many animals are related to more than one super sense. There are so many connections to be made across all this information. This is sounding confusing to you? Don't worry. Today we will learn to make a concept map. A concept map is a way to present your learning where a concept is explored in relation to all information gathered about it. Our concept today is super senses in animal world and we will jot down all learned facts to make a map which will make revision easy and it will allow you to connect knowledge in different ways. Let us start making a concept map with super sense at the center. We expand it to mention the five senses of smell, sight, hearing, touch and taste. Now, what we have learned about sense of smell is that these animals have superb sense of smell. So, ants, mosquitoes and dogs are added. In place of pictures, you students may write names of animals that you are seeing on screen. Moving on to the next sense that is the sense of sight, we have learned that these birds have super sense of sight. They are all birds of prey. Next, let us take the sense of hearing. We learn that these animals have superb sense of hearing. Bats and dolphins are related by the concept of echolocation. Here you can see that the dog has both super sense of hearing and that of smell. So, using arrows, we are connecting dog to both the senses. Can you cite one more example where the animal has more than one super sense? I am taking example of tiger to connect it to super senses of sight, hearing and smell. For super sense of touch, we have spiders as example 
and for super sense of taste we have catfish as an example. Here we are adding other animals with one super ability or the other like bees, sloth, lizard and snake. Now we have a web of animals interconnected by various concepts. Other than the concept of super sense, we can connect many animals on the basis of physical features like absence of external ears. Here we connected lizards and birds on the basis of absence of external ears. Now you should try to make more such connections. The more the connections, the more well understood are the related concepts. You may try linking reptiles, insects and mammals, animals that can fly or those who live in water and so on. This is how interconnected all living beings and their surroundings are. Let us summarize what we have learned today. We learned about super sense of hearing in animal world. Not all animals have external ears. Birds and reptiles have tiny holes for ears. We learned about echolocation that is used by bats and dolphins to help them see the world using sound. Many animals can sense natural calamities like earthquake and tsunami before they happen. Animals use sound calls to alert for dangers. They use different gestures and sounds to communicate. Sleep cycle of animals vary as per their eating habits. Tiger is a majestic animal with great senses of sight, hearing and smell. Many animals have an inbuilt sense of direction as in case of migratory birds and bees. We learned to make a concept map and link related concepts and ideas to have an overall integrated picture. So children, do observe animals around you and you will learn to appreciate the superb qualities that they have. Animals are intelligent, social and have feelings too. Be caring towards them and never tease any animal. Even if an animal doesn't look friendly, we should not be cruel towards it. Hope you will spread the message of love for animals. We conclude our session here. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. Till we meet again, enjoy looking around. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.